So I've been doing some stress testing with my electric eel wheel cone winder and I've come into some cases where the yarn slips and I'll show you what that means in a little bit. But the thing that causes it is you can have a source that's really high tension. That might mean you have some tangled swift or uh, maybe some yarn ball that's really large and adding a lot of tension. You could be uh, having a source that's a skein winder. You know, any of those things could cause a lot of tension. In this case, I've just had the yarn go through the tensioner in such a way that it caused a lot of tension. So normally you wouldn't use this much tension, but I wanted to demo the case that I'm having easily. Let me show you what I mean by slipping yarn. So you can see that the drum is spinning. I'm doing this at slow speed so you can see it, but the cone's not reliably spinning. So here I can just hold the cone, but um, what's happening is there's basically too much tension on the yarn here. So the cone is sort of slipping. So one easy solution for this is to just push down on these arms with your hands. That's gonna resolve it. But the two sort of better solutions that don't require you to use your hands are, you can either put rubber bands, which just pulls the arm a little bit harder down. So on industrial cones, they have really heavy arms and they have weights on there. So this isn't really a problem. There's a lot of downward force on the cone, but because I wanted to make this light, and you know, inexpensive to make and ship and easy to use at home. I didn't want to put all that weight. So I put some springs in there. And if I make them much stronger, it starts to become unwieldy to lift and lower the arm, which is very easy right now. So you can temporarily put a rubber band if you're finding a, a case where you see the, the cone slipping or you'd probably do the same thing on both sides. You can just add some, I just have some washers with a string and you put that around. And either one of those is gonna add enough extra downward force on the cone so that it's not a problem and it spins just fine. So, like I said, depends on your source of your yarn mostly. If you've got, you know, a source that has a lot of tension with it, you know, some tangles and things, you may find that your cone slips on the drum. And if that's the case, you know, if it's just temporary while you're getting started, maybe push down with your hand. If you don't want to, you know, occupy your hands, either just get some weights on a string and hook it around like that, or you can use uh, rubber bands on both sides and that also fix it fixes it thanks for watching